All right, guys, so I am going to be modifying the Alphas SVTW 800 shallow spool fast addition right hand. And I got some stuff. Things that you're gonna need, of course, your ammo, real spool maintenance toolkit, your Weera, having brain fart, man. <laughs> I just read something really dizzy on Facebook and it threw me off. Something about right hand and left hand retrieve. But, um, screwdrivers. You're gonna need screwdrivers. And if you're gonna change out the bearing on the spool, the spool bearing remover. I have a couple of them and I haven't tried this one yet. This one seems to be the right one that's gonna work. And of course, because the SVTW 800 didn't come with a clicker, I got a clicker off of AliExpress. We'll start with this one. I actually, once I get inside, Right, so I already switched the spool out, which I'm gonna start by popping that off. I think I'm gonna take that bearing out of there. And I'm also gonna take the bearing out of here. Gotta make sure I keep this thing aligned. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get that little retainer or clamp or whatever they call it that little guy you just want to make sure you grab that and pull it out first it's magnetic so oh. all right i'm trying not to think there's something else in there it's probably not needed it looks like let's see if these are the same height they are the same height so that ain't it I don't know. push that down in there and there's definitely a 1034 a 834 and a 1034 this is the 834 Probably should have used that. Tweezers and did it. First bearing out. Now let's get the bearing out of the spool.
it's pretty easy. I pushed it right out. All right, let's loosen that up. And that should okay. Pretty easy. I like that in comparison to the. All right, that is officially in place. Let's uh just pop that back on real quick and make sure we're good to go. Oh yeah, cooking with grease now. Oh, one more time. All right. I honestly don't feel like doing nothing else. <laughs> it's good to go with that, but it's only seven bearings, so we're going to get those five out of there making it 11 to 1 i definitely see that there's one bushing near i'm hoping that this side is not a bushing and it's a bearing i didn't look at the schematics so we're actually going to do a lot to this reel i have uh some extra stuff that i'm gonna get out of the way personally didn't really feel like doing this on camera Purple slightly off. That's like a dark purple, and this is a magenta almost. Ah, we'll roll with it. So, where do I want to start? Start by taking this off. Need a screwdriver, flathead. screw let's uh just lay this all to the side for now while we take all of this apart actually before i do that we're gonna pop these off and put the bearings in there as well. Put 
some Loctite on that screw too. Put some Loctite on that screw. That's a bushing. That's a bushing. Anything to that degree. I don't know if it's gonna actually need this or not. The rail was smooth as is, but just me wanting to tinker. I could tell just my slid on there and I had extra all right people so I am back and I am in my shop but it is not complete it's got better lighting see there's a windows windows off to the side and all that other stuff but the bearings came and I actually only needed one and it I comes in 20, a set of 20 off of eBay. And I already put the bearings and the knobs. And I literally have to put the bearing. Hopefully it's just on this side, but we'll see because I have to take the whole reel apart anyway. So while I'm pulling that out, I did put that bearing in there. That is the row 834. And this is a spool off of AliExpress. And I put the rural bearing on there. So we're just gonna sit this up here out of the way. I'll get one bearing out of here and we're gonna break this thing down. All right, so I don't know which side I should work from. This looks like it has a bearing already. I could be wrong. I probably should check the schematics, but. There is a little tool that I've seen people use. Peter for one, it's a double ended like screwdriver to pop this thing off. Probably should put this up some higher all right I'm gonna pop off this retainer all right we just need to see if that's an actual bearing or it's a bushing those two little silver washers made me think it was a bearing okay 
So the trick to getting that out is taking some L-shaped tweezers or J-shaped tweezers. There we go. The bushing placed with a baron. If there's a bearing on the other side already, then this is 11 to one. Well, it's one and that should make it even smoother. All right, that is popped into place. All right, so I got it back on there. The real question is, should I have stuck one of those washers back on there or not? I don't think so. It seems like the bearing was up higher than the actual bushing. So we got that on. Pop out this screw here. back there out of the wing it's not being used at the moment we're gonna actually take out the three screws which I all right I'm back and I made a fatal mistake I wouldn't say fatal just a fatal error and completely forgot that the screws and most of Daiwa's reels are T10 hex style, and I left mine at home, so I had to run up, up to Home Depot real quick just to grab it. And then I put that piece of tape that I just ripped off to extend it so that it will go through the frame of the body so that I could get that screw out. So we got all three screws out now and we're gonna disassemble the handle, get this out of the way because I was trying to use anything to make it work. And none of that worked. All right, we're gonna take this handle off now. So, take this screw off. Try to make sure you lay it down where it's some kind of order that you don't forget. Handle. Keep the spring. Star drag, you get a, if, you, if you're changing, I'm changing. So, star drag, I'm putting off to the side. I'm gonna unscrew this. and it has washers that's really greased up, which is, to me, at first I used to complain about the grease. Grease actually helps and it works in my favor because it helps with sticking some of the washers together. Come on, okay. So there are some washers under there. Just pull this whole thing up. There are some washers that's inside of there. Not on the bottom, and we're gonna pull this whole piece off. I might have to wipe this down because I got grease on the frame of the body. All right, so this should come up. Come on, there we go. So what we're gonna do now, well, what I'm gonna do first is check to see if there's a bearing under here or 
if there's a bushing. I should I could have looked online, but I'm gonna pull the whole thing up. So it looks like there's a bearing. Now there's a washer underneath the bottom of this gear. I call it gear box. I'm gonna keep it together. I'm gonna pull this up. And what I should have did, it's silver underneath. So it is a bearing. Yep, that's a bearing. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's really tucked under there. Underneath there, there's a bearing. So we're gonna put this back on. Make sure that it aligns to the square. We want to put this back on, but we want to pull all of this out. Pull this out, why? Because we're putting a clicking drag system in there. So we need some paper towel. We want to clean that glue, glue grease out of there. So give me a split second because I did not bring a paper. Actually, I got this right here, degreasing rag. I'm actually gonna re-pull it back out. And put this gear or this carbon fiber washer back in here i'm gonna degrease this now in most cases when you add the clicking drag system they tell you use some super glue in this case you don't need super glue i ordered one off of aliexpress i didn't want to uh go too crazy with the I think it's like 60 or 70 dollars for the clicking drag system if i was to use like uh one of daiwa's other ones like the silver creek or the gecko Bajin to fit in here so i think we are good and clean first thing we're going to want to do is this is the order of this one. Teeth, plate, carbon fiber, washer, and then the metal clicking thing that goes over the teeth. So here's what they did. On the teeth, they made it so that you can pluck the plastic off. has a sticky substance to it already. <laughs> so that falls into place. You could press it down. And that is good to go. So it doesn't require much for the teeth to work. Put that in, then carbon and you just want that to fall into place just turn it until it falls in There you go. Got your click and drag. Actually, because I'm going to put this in here. One shaft, I'm gonna actually pull all of this back up and out of the way because I have to get to, oh no, it's only on the one side, okay. 
do I need? Oh yeah, that's clip that way, so it has to come up this way. All right, so let's just remove these springs because they're gonna fall out. Um, we could remove the pinion. Just remember the order. All right. I'm just removing this stuff so that it doesn't fall when I turn it over this way. I gotta get that little tiny retainer, I guess is what they call them. I gotta get that without losing it. Easy peasy. That fell out. I'm just changing the color. Cosmetic. I'll slide this one in. Sorry that it's off screen, but I have to see it. Myself. All right, I just gotta get that little thing back on there. And it's back on. All right. All right, let's get everything back place now while I am doing this I'm just gonna kind of wrap the video up I don't think you guys you just need to put it back together I'm gonna literally put everything back together and then let you guys hear it when it's done so I will be back Feels good. It's almost like a purple silver creep modified. So in closing, I just want to say that <clears throat> when you do a bearing swap and you plan to do saltwater fishing, you want to look into getting the ceramic bearings. I noticed that they put these bushings in there in certain places where water could get to a lot easier in comparison to everything else. So usually it's the knobs course water will eventually get in your worm shaft so those are just areas that they say you know what let's stick a bushing versus a bearing that's something that I noticed one other thing is for me clicking drags are essential to anything I am using for light game so if I am fishing for a bluegill with 10 pound test I don't need a clicking drag I gonna get him in there's no questions about it but if I'm using seven pound test on the river I need to know what's going on that kind of stuff is just essential to me it may not be essential to anyone else I personally think when redoing reels and stuff do it according to what you like and what you do and just have fun doing it by the way, guys, I got a tripod, so these videos will not be from my chest view anymore. 
They will be from top down view. So look forward to that. Remember guys, squares are for how-to videos or fishing videos. Circle, free lifetime subscription. You can come and go as you please. You're not charged for it. Until next time, peace out.